TV. I am Kanna and this is part of my how-to guide around minimalism. Whether you're interested in learning more about this lifestyle movement or whether you're starting to incorporate it into your life or whether you're completely immersed yourself into this amazing lifestyle, this is the playlist for you. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Now as part of the how-to guide, I'm giving you lots of steps, strategies, ideas and inspiration as to how to incorporate minimalism into your life beyond a surface level of decluttering so you can infiltrate the amazing benefits from this movement from your finances to your food to your friends to your entertainment to your distractions. Now for this video I'm talking around makeup and minimalism. Now makeup is a creative tool, it's a form of artwork. It's designed to help enhance our features, not hide ourselves amongst layers and layers of caked on makeup. However, we often get caught into this world where we're told to buy this product, try this, this will do that, this, enhance this, and it can become really overwhelming, which leave us with bathroom cabinets bursting at the seams. It doesn't need to be this way. And to prove this point, I have a very special guest who will be joining us tomorrow night to show you how to incorporate minimalism and makeup. So I will tell you at the end of this video who it might be. So you definitely need to make sure you have subscribed. In the meantime, let's get started about how to downsize, declutter, minimize your makeup collection. Now the first thing is you have to remove all your makeup from your bathroom cabinet or wherever you may store it. I want you to remove absolutely everything so we start with a fresh space. I also want you to wipe down this surface area because it's like starting with a fresh canvas. We want to feel inspired, we want to feel motivated, we want to feel empowered to put back into our world, into our life, the products that we love, value, use and appreciate. Once you wipe down the surface around your makeup area, I want you to go and wipe down all your products. Make them look new, fresh and clean again. So again, you feel excited and empowered to use those products again. Now, as soon as you've done that, you can start putting the products back into your bathroom cabinet or wherever you store your makeup. But you can only put back in first the products that you absolutely love. You could only a few products you could take with you if you got stuck on a desert island. But as you are doing this, I want you to stop and take the time to look at what you are putting back. Why is that bronzer going back in? Why is that mascara definitely going back in? What is it about these products that you love, value, use and appreciate? In your very minimalistic looking makeup area, I want you to stop, look back and admire it because there are some very powerful messages about how you need to spend your hard earned money on makeup going forward. You also need to stop and look at the lessons, the wisdom and the insight from all the products you've bought in the past that have ended up being a bit of a waste of money. Ask yourself, where did you buy that? What were you doing? Were you bored? Were you in a hurry? Do you see it on a celebrity? Were you buying it just because it was on sale? Um, were you buying it because you were told if you buy two products, you get an extra one for half the price? You need to be really aware of where you went wrong. You know, this is a danger zone. I need to be aware. I need to either remove myself or go and just look at something completely different because we do not want to get caught up in consumerism with minimalism. The next thing is to discard any broken, any old, cracked or expired products. Minimalism comes from a place of self-love and self-respect. You do not want to be putting anything that's old and damaged and dried out and like expired and unhygienic on your precious space. That stuff simply has to go. Or if you have any unused products, you can actually donate them to charity. There are a wide range of charities which would greatly appreciate any unused skincare or cosmetics. And I'll link them in the video description box below so you can make the most and give as much as you can to these amazing charities. Now for products that you don't really like that much, but you've half used them and you definitely don't want to waste them, what I recommend you do is you put them all in a box and put them at the front of your makeup cabinet or in your shower to force you to actually use these products first as a priority before going back to your absolute favorite products. Another great little trick when it comes to minimalism and makeup and making the most of the products that you already have, and that is to invest in a primer. Using a primer on the base and as you finish your makeup is a really great way of getting your makeup to last all day 
and needing less product to reapply during the day and night. Now, when it comes to buying makeup, we should always go to the shop with a list. Just like if we go to the supermarket to buy a litre of milk, nine times out of 10, we will come home with more than a litre of milk. That is exactly the same when it comes to makeup, especially with all the beautiful packaging and labeling and brands and like celebrity endorsement. We need to shop mindfully. And one tip that I always personally use myself is a just-in-time approach. As a product is getting running low, I will make sure I make a list on my phone that I need to eventually replace it. But I will not replace it until it's just about to run out or just completely run out. I do not want to be doubling up with duplicates in my bathroom. Not only do I not have much space, I don't want to waste my money and I don't want to risk not, in, not getting to a product before it starts to expire. Now, when it comes to actually buying those products, there are lots of things you can do when shopping more mindfully. One is to look for quality over quantity. You're actually better to buy that beautiful lipstick that you absolutely love, makes you feel like a million dollars, even if it costs more, than buying, say, five or six cheap lipsticks that you don't really like, don't really like the texture, don't really like how it makes you feel when you wear it. When you do go shopping to buy some makeup, Take your time, inspect the products, do your research, go with your list to the makeup store. Make sure you actually stop and enjoy the process. No one should be putting time restraints on you, making you feel rushed and certainly not pressured to buy certain things. Let the sales assistant show you how to wear it, how to blend it, how to contour, how to get the most out of the product. Buy multifunctional products. For example, buying a moisturizer that's also got a sunscreen in it and it also acts as a primer. Or buying a bronzer that you can use as a blush and a bronzer, an eyeshadow and an eyebrow pencil. All these things can be used in creative ways. Remember, makeup is just simply pigment, so get creative. You should also always think about the environment. You no longer need to buy cotton buds, wet ones, or cotton bud tips. You go and invest in some of the multi-purpose makeup removal brushes and, and cloths like the Face Halo. These are fantastic. Now these last for like up to 500 washes. They're environmentally friendly and when you do finish using them, you can actually use them as cleaning cloths in your home. You can use them to clean and wipe your makeup brushes and also they take your makeup off within about 20 seconds. And this also saves a fortune and is so much better for our water system. On that note of the environment, try and support the increasing number of brands that respect and support the environment, the community, and also our furry friends. Brands like MAC, you can actually take back your lipstick containers and if you return six lipstick containers, you get a free lipstick. You can also return the packaging back to Longcom. This is also available with a whole range of other makeup providers. And then my final and actually my favorite tip when it comes to makeup and minimalism, and that is to invest in a custom palette. So many times we buy these palettes and you know, they've got say 14 or 15 different eyeshadows and after a while of using the palette, we realize that we only really use say three or four of those colors. The rest are just a complete waste. Well, some brands actually offer custom makeup palettes such as MAC and I'll show you one that I'm actually currently building up now. You can actually select which colors you want to form part of your palette. It's a really inexpensive way of structuring a palette that's right for you. So slowly over time, I'm gonna be building up my blushes and my contours and of course my eyeshadows as my other ones start to wear away and I can employ my just-in-time approach. But it's a brilliant way of also reducing your packaging. Now we're at the end of the video and I wanna now let you know who the surprise guest is tomorrow night. Well, it's the one and only Miss Chloe Morello. Believe it or not, Chloe actually does like to try and incorporate a minimalistic philosophy into some areas of her life. She actually hates damaging the environment, is really aware of trying to give back to her followers and her subscribers makeup that she gets given so that she shares the love. In this video, we're going to be sharing with you and showing you how to create two different makeup looks using less than 10 products. This is a really fun video collaboration, so if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do right now. And I will see you tomorrow night with Chloe Morello. And in the meantime, enjoy your journey through minimalism. Ciao for now.